Hello, sports fans, and welcome to the Scott Sports 101 Thursday Night Football Recap Show, Week 9. Uh, week Recap Show. It's a Week 9 one. It is not Week, week 9 Recap Show. And, and uh, boy, what a game Thursday night. And uh, we'll talk all about it, and we'll talk about how Philly prevailed and how the Eagles uh, scored their first touchdown but struggled. And we'll talk about all that, and I'll, I'll give my thoughts, and I'll recap it for you. But first, uh, here is today's Scott Sports 101 Thursday Night Football Week 9 trivia question. What Philadelphia Eagle posted 24 sacks in 1987? I will have the answer later in the podcast. Well, the Philadelphia Eagles... Remain unbeaten in the NFL as they are now 8-0 on the season for the first time in franchise history as they beat the uh, Houston Texans 29-17 Thursday night at NRG Stadium in Houston, Texans. And uh, boy, what a game this was. I'm going to recap it for you right now. I'm going to go about the highlights for you. Uh, uh, first quarter, the uh, Houston Texans... Scored their very first touchdown this season. They had not had one all season. They haven't had one. This is their first one. Uh, it was second and goal at the uh, at Philadelphia 2. Uh, uh, Drew Mills passed short to uh, 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 Qu- uh, Quitorino, Quitorino for the uh, two-yard touchdown. Uh, uh, Fairba- Fairbaum's extra point was good, and it was... Uh, seven nothing Houston. Uh, then uh, the Eagles uh, came back and scored their first touchdown of the game, and uh, it was fourth and goal to Houston too. Uh, uh, Miles Sanders left guard for the two yard touchdown. Elliott's extra point was good, and it was uh, seven seven. The Eagles and Texans tied at seven. Uh, uh, Houston uh, uh, had to punt after going three and out five plays, uh, 18 yards in the second quarter, and it was 7-7 uh, at the end of the first quarter. Second quarter, uh, the Eagles uh, had a fumble. They fumbled. It was first and 10 at the uh, Philly 27. Jalen Hurts sacked at the Houston 35 for minus eight yards. Uh... Uh, Nielsen fumbles, and uh, it was touched at Houston 24 and recovered by uh, Johnson at the Houston 35. And that's when the Texans got the ball back. And th- then they had to punt after going three and out, four plays and nine yards, and the Eagles scored their second touchdown of the game. And it was uh, third and goal at the uh, Houston 4. Uh, uh, game well up the middle for the four-yard touchdown. Elliott's extra point was good, and it was 14-7 Eagles, second quarter. Then the uh, the uh, Texans scored their second touchdown of the game, and it was uh, first and ten at the Philadelphia thirteen. Uh, Uh, it was a, a Drew Mills pass was incomplete, short right to Moore, and the replay official reviewed the incomplete pass ruling, and the play was reversed, and there was a shotgun pass, but short right to, uh, I think it was uh, C.J. Moore, or C. Moore, or maybe C.J. Moore, or Chris Moore, check me if I'm wrong, for the 13-yard touchdown, and it was, uh, and then the... Uh, uh, Fairbairn's extra point was good, and it was uh, tied at 14. Uh, I'm going to go to that box score just for a moment. And uh, I'm going to go to the uh, Houston over here to find it. Yeah, Chris Moore, that's his name. He scored the touchdown. I, I do apologize for that. And then, uh, near the end of the first half, 
Uh, Philly got to the uh, it was second and third at the Houston 36. Jordan Elliott, 54, 54-yard field goal. It was no good. It went wide right. And the uh, Eagles and Texans are tied at 14 at halftime. Then in the third, uh, Philadelphia had the punt after going three and out, three plays, uh, minus two yards. Then the Texans had the ball, and they had the punt after going three and out, three plays, minus three yards. And then Philadelphia had the punt again after going th uh, three and out, three plays, and eight yards. And then the Texans intercepted. <coughs> uh, and it was uh, third and six at the Houston 24. D Mills pass. Uh, deep middle intended for Chris Moore, intercepted by uh, uh, Gardner Johnson at the uh, Houston 42. <coughs> Ran out of bounds at the Houston 17 for 25 yards. And that's when the Eagles got the ball back. And then the Eagles scored their third touchdown of the game. Uh, and it was a... Uh, it was uh, second and 10 uh, at the Houston 17. Uh, Jalen Hurts uh, pass deep left to uh, uh, Brown for, for to AJ Brown for the 17-yard uh, touchdown, and uh, Elliott's extra point was good, and it was uh, 21 to 14 Philadelphia third quarter. Then Houston got to the uh, uh, it was uh, fourth and nine at the Philly 12, and uh, uh, Fairbounds. Uh, 30-yard field goal was good, and it was 21-17, Philadelphia. Uh, and then uh, the uh, Eagles scored their, set, their uh, fourth touchdown of the game. That was their third touchdown. This was their fourth uh, touchdown of the game. And it was uh, second and goal at uh, Jalen... Uh, at the Houston Four, Jalen Hurts passed short right to a Dallas Gogurt, a Godert, excuse me, for the four-yard touchdown. Uh, there was a penalty on Houston uh, in the neutral end zone. It was uh, Hennish, and uh, it was uh, minus five yards in the fourth of the Houston 15. Then it was a two-point conversion that the uh, Eagles did, and it was a Jalen Hurts rushes up the middle. Attempt succeeded, and he got it. Two-point conversion was good. It was 29 to 17. At the end of the third quarter. And then in the fourth, uh, the uh, Texans had the ball. They had the punt after going three and out. Uh, six plays, 24 yards. And then uh, Philadelphia had the punt after going uh, uh, three plays and two yards. And then uh, Houston had another interception, their second interception of the night. And it was 30-19 uh, th at the Philadelphia 21. Drew Mills pass left intended for uh, Dorsett. Intercepted by Bradbury at the Philadelphia 3 to uh, the Philly uh, 25 for 22 yards. And there was a penalty, uh, a D Mills penalty on H Houston and Dorsetti legal shift, and it was declined. And then Philadelphia got the ball back. And uh, all the. Uh, and then uh, first and 10, uh, Miles Sanders left end of the Philly 23 for minus 2 yards. And then 2nd and 12, Jalen Hurts passed short right to uh, A.J. Brown for the Philadelphia, to the Philadelphia 25 for 2 yards. And then 3rd and 10, there was a penalty. Jalen Hurts passed short right to Dallas Goger, pushed out of bounds at the Philadelphia for 15 yards. And it was on Stewart, the penalty on was on Philadelphia. And um, uh, Melita, uh, ineligible, and just downfield pass 5 yards and forced at the Philadelphia 25. There was no play. 3rd and uh, 15 of Jalen Hurts right tackle uh, Philadelphia to the Philadelphia 34 uh, for the 14 yards and uh, Harris and uh, M. Stewart they fumbled and recovered by Philadelphia at the at the Philadelphia 34 <clears throat> and then it was uh, fourth and one at Philadelphia 24 Jalen Hurts up the middle for the 35 <clears throat> to the Philadelphia 35 for the one yard gain and then the last two plays first and second and second and eleven. All Jalen Hurts had to do was kneel, and uh, nonetheless, the uh, Eagles get the win uh, by the final score of 29-17, and uh, this was one of those games where Houston scored two touchdowns, was their first two touchdowns of the season, 
And but that was it. They struggled offensively and defensively. Uh, this game, they just and the interceptions costed it to them. Uh, Jalen Hurts was twenty-one of twenty-seven for two hundred forty-three yards and two touchdowns. And Philadelphia uh, overcame another uh, deficit to roll past the re uh, rebuilding Houston. Javon Hargra uh, Hargrave led the team on defense with seven tackles, three sacks, and uh, three tackles for. Uh, uh, for losses and three uh, quarterback hits. Hurts won his 11th straight game as a starter in the NFL, and he did it in front of family at uh, NRG Stadium. The Eagles and Texans were tied at 14 in halftime, as I mentioned. And after the, the Eagles' slow start in, in the second half, in quarter number three, the Eagles just came on strong and just surged their way to a win over Houston. And as for the Texans, they uh, took an early lead, and after that, they just uh, struggled offensively and defensively. And it, uh, the, te the Texans' problems, problems and frustrations uh, this season continue. Uh, Brandon Cooks was inactive for this game on, on Thursday, this past Thursday. The only bright spot for the Texans was the uh, quarterback uh, Drew Davis Mills, excuse me, uh, threw his way into the end zone, and uh, Cor Corin... Uh, uh, Corterano made his first impressive catch in traffic for for his uh, for his catch and his first touchdown, and that that was basically the, 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 those two touchdowns were the only bright spot in this game for him. Uh, let me give out give out the game balls in uh, just a sec, but right now it's time to reveal the answer uh, to today's Scott Sports One Hundred and One. Uh, Thursday night football uh, uh, trivia question. What Philadelphia Eagle posted 21 sacks in 1987? And if you said Reggie White, you are correct. The late great Reggie White, you are correct. In 1987, Reggie White earned Defensive Player of the Year honors by posting 21 sacks in just 12 games. I have another trivia question. On my next podcast, so stay tuned for that. Uh, right now, I'm going to give out the game balls for this one. Uh, uh, Jalen Hurts, 21 of 27, uh, carries and attempts, 243 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Uh, Miles Sanders, uh, uh, 17 attempts, 93 yards, one touchdown. Dallas Gogert, uh, eight receptions, 100 yards, and one touchdown, and... I am giving Javon, uh, Javon Hardgrave a, a game ball as well for seven tackles, uh, three sacks, three tackles for a loss, for a loss and uh, three quarterback sacks as well. So th those are the game balls. And uh, the uh, uh, Philly will play host to the Washington Commanders on Monday night, and they'll try to go to 9-0. But the Texans, uh, they will have to... Uh, uh, with, to try to regroup and try to get the win over their next opponent uh, in week 10 because uh, <clears throat> because uh, they will be playing the, the New York Giants and that's not going to be an easy one and they're going to try to have to get the win and whoops and uh, because they are they have fallen to uh uh, to, uh, they have fallen to, uh, uh, one, six and one on the season. I took Philadelphia and one and so did my brother-in-law, Eric Hoyle. You'll get the rest of the picks tomorrow. Uh, the, uh, and, uh, for the, and we got some great matchups tomorrow. Uh, the Las Vegas, uh, the Los Angeles Chargers will play the Atlanta Falcons at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. Miami takes on the Bears at Soldier Field. The Panthers take on the Bengals at Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. The Packers travel to Detroit to Ford Field to take on the Lions. The Raiders travel to Jacksonville to take on the Jaguars. Indiana travels to uh, Gillette Stadium in Foxborough to take on the Patriots. Buffalo travels to East Rutherford, New Jersey to MetLife Stadium to take on the Jets. Minnesota takes on the Washington Commanders. Uh, and uh, at FedEx, but in Washington, Seattle 
uh, takes on Arizona at University of Phoenix Stadium in Arizona. Uh, the Rams travel to Tampa to face Brady and the Bucks at Raymond James Stadium. Uh, and that's those, those are the two Lake games, two Florida games. The Titans travel to uh, uh, Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City to, to take on Brady and the Bucks. I mean, uh, can, uh, Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs at Arrowhead Stadium. Not Brady and the Bucks, Kansas City Ch- Chiefs, Br- uh, Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. And Monday Night Football, the Baltimore Ravens travel to Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans to take on the uh, uh, New Orleans Saints. Well, that's just about going to wrap it up for the Scott Sports 101 Thursday Night Football Recap Show. I'll be back tomorrow with the early game, uh, pregame show, and all the others, and Sunday night and Monday night. But until then, always remember, be a team player each and every day and every way possible. So long, everybody. 3-2-1. I'm done.